Hey, Michael Hayne here. So the question is, do I read books outside of a school setting? Yes, I do. In fact, I probably read books outside of the school setting more than I'd read them in a school setting. Because I find most of the schools that have... Well, I've only been to two schools. Three now, actually, including the university. But all the school books that I've ever been assigned all sucked. They were all mostly garbage. The only one that I liked to a certain extent was To Kill a Mockingbird. What kind of books do I tend to read? Um, I sporadically will read a, a book that will improve my knowledge on the way the world works. And especially self-improvement books, those are really nice to read as well. Um, any book that can take me past the, the popular picture story and, and the directly closer to the truth and how the world works is something that I, I really find interesting. And I generally try to avoid any kind of corporate soul, um, any kind of corporate social programming at all costs. So, depending on who releases the book, um, well, I should say the kind of book it is matters a lot to me. I, I focus on more factual stuff. I don't really care for fiction. Um, I don't really care for for fiction at all, actually. Um, but there has been a few, like a Brave New World. I read that great book. It's complete fiction, but it, it plays it plays into my power and control um, area of life that I really am interested in. What I do read a lot, though, rather than books, is my computer. I will spend hours of time researching on the computer every day, at least an hour a day of research on things that I'm interested in. Um, so that's about all I have to say about that. And what do books offer that TV or movies can't? A lot. There's a lot books can offer that TVs or movies can't. Usually TVs or movies are created by capitalists with a lot of money. And they create it not necessarily for the benefit of the readers or the viewers. Not necessarily for the readers, but more for the profits. And how many, how many dumb dumbbots can I get to come in and watch my video or my movie to make money? How can I get money from them? Hmm. Well, I know America's like junk, so if I throw enough junk and a little bit of comedy into the movie, they'll just buy it up. So, I really prefer I really prefer, prefer books for that particular reason. There's great movies out there. Don't get me wrong, plenty of great movies, but for the most part, there's there's nothing quite like a good read. And also, with a book, when you read a really good point or statement or fact, I can reflect on it immediately. I can stop reading and think. Wow, that is interesting. That could mean this, this, and this. There's all these things I can pull from it. A movie kind of keeps playing along, keeps going along, going along. I don't want to pause it, start it, pause it, start it. And a movie's not organized in usually in the same way. You can find a documentary that's excellent, for sure. Excellent documentary, anytime. But movies, no, not so much. Yes, that's, that's basically all I have to say about about movies and books. Thank you.